And welcome back to another episode of your favorite Pokemon to an AC. Now today we have this very short and small comment. So I have to make a Xerneas, and that's gonna be troublesome because uh, Xerneas has like those antlers and like all those colors in the antlers. I cannot replicate that in any way. But I did have the idea of making the quality, and I already know what the head, the back weapon is gonna be because that is obviously gonna be the Chimera because that, those are gonna be the antlers. I also was thinking that make maybe the arms, actual arm weapons. So. Uh, uh, what am I gonna choose for the arm weapons? You know, wait, wait, wait. I was thinking maybe something energy related since, yeah, like the Leo, because, uh, I checked out Xerneas on Smogon and it seems like most builds tend to lean towards special attack, even though it has a very high normal attack. So, uh, Quaddy, I don't care what Quaddy just yet, but I'll try to go, well, you know what, here. Uh, I'll first just choose the parts where I think is fitting. So, uh, uh, um, yeah, you know the Hornet would fit well for this. And as for the core, uh, clearly I can't use a hangar unit. So maybe I should try to go for an EO. You know, let's go for the E2 because I want... No, 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 you know what? I need to go for the normal E because I need to make sure that I can, uh, like, last a long while. And as for the extension, I'm fairly certain that the Jiren might be a, a smart thing to do here because energy is going to be a big thing of this AC. Um, I think the Lotus will be better. It's... Oh! Oh! Okay. I'm gonna have to rethink this for a sec. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for the Magnolia. Ananda I'll stick with, but is there maybe a less drainy one? Yeah, besides the starter radiator, which sucks balls. Uh, no, I'm gonna get rid of the, the TP. I'm, I'm gonna go with the B81 because it's a quality. I really need to make sure that I don't overcharge myself. Uh, maybe I should get rid of the head because that's a drainy head. Uh, what's a less drainy head? Uh, let's see. Something that's fit Xerneas and also is not that drainy. Eh, I guess this will have to do the 72 S3. And, alright, so we've got the core selected there, the Leo arms. Um, let's go for the least drainy legs, please, because, um, let's see. Oh, that's not bad already. Um, 1220... Uh, fine. Let's see. So I chose the drainiest legs that were here on the quality. Great. Okay, I think this will just have to do. Um, okay, I'm not overweight. I am not, uh, I don't have energy problems. I don't have arm problems. But let's see. I do feel like I saw something missing here. Well, besides the, uh, the, yeah, you know what? Here, let's go for the Austral parts first. So, since this is all very energy centric, let's just go with the freaking, uh, Golgi and, uh, Phage. I need to have some defense, but I need to know the energy condenser cap is very important and the lockbox and I guess we're gonna go for Defenses or the cooling no cooling and then a slight bit in the energy defenses. That's it So let's see. Yeah, that, that will just have to do. I'm gonna tune this towards uh, da -da 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 Cooling energy output um, Booster power. Yeah, yeah, yeah Let's go for the cooling on this one, and... Oh, I can't tune the arms, forgot about that. Cooling, and might as well go for the extra cooling here. I mean, try to make sure that I can do, like, keep up a long while with this AC. This is gonna be a very risky AC, I can already tell. Also, I think maybe it might be better if I choose the FCS, not the F73, but more the Manju. I think that might be a smarter thing to do here. Yeah, yeah, let's go for the Manju. And, um... Yeah, I guess this will just have to be it. I think I'm gonna have to try and color. No, no, you know what? Before we do that, I wanna test it out before I am certain if I'm gonna go with this before I add colors. Okay, so let's see the speed first. So for 264 kilometers per hour, that's not that great. Thankfully, the energy doesn't go down that fast, so uh, that's a plus. But uh, however, I'm not firing in the meantime. Oh boy. Well, uh, other than that, I do have the extension there. Okay, second setting. Oh, that's even worse. 
Okay, okay, let's go for the Quartet Cannon, and that's also worse. My god, what, whatever the hell I'm gonna be fighting, I need to make sure that it's something that is not too fast and actually can uh, not last very long against because if I cannot survive a long while with this uh, here, then I'm gonna be a standing target for a long ass time. But I think that this is something I can fit with the uh, Xerneas. Yeah, I think that's true. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just go with this and uh, color it. I'll be right back. I can't believe I actually got a slightly convincing Xerneas here. Like, you know, the blue upper part of the body, the bottom being black with the yellow bits there, uh, the horns being yellow. Like, I, I would have loved to have all of the colors on the antlers there, but that's not possible. But aesthetically, this is a pretty convincing Xerneas, if you ask me. And I think it looks cool like that. And, well, we all know how it, what it was like in action earlier, so... Oh boy, let's just uh, hope for the best as I try to find the test AC first. Alright, let's start with the antlers right away. So, there we go, and shoot that, and I actually hit him there, didn't I? There we go. Uh, make sure to hit him again there. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, use the Jiren, there we go, and oh god, okay, okay, hang on, I want to use my normal ass uh, arm weapons as well, and he's dead already. Okay, I got the nuking power. I absolutely do have the nuking power. I just need to make sure that I have to fight someone that fits this AC. You know... Let's be risky here. I'm gonna go with Destroy Transport Convoy with Moomoo and Cerberus Garm. Alright, let's start with some of the nuking power here. So I'm gonna start with the uh, Quartet Cannon here uh, on Moomoo. And uh, uh, that's already a miss there. Oh, uh, well, okay, that's a hit, that's a hit. Let's try to go and uh, use this as much as possible because she's not exactly a dodger. Simple as that. Uh, using my Jiren there. Okay, shoot that. Uh, there. Okay, okay, she's down, she's down. Uh, let's try to go for the transport convoy here. And no, 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 you know, wait, I should probably wait for uh, Cerberus here for a moment and then drop my antlers. <laughs> That's gonna be weird, but okay, okay, here we go. So, oh, he's already there. Oh, oh shit, 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 shit. Uh, let me try and use this on you. There. Oh god, okay, this is not going well. This is not going well. Uh, let me try to use the Jiren here. Okay, there we go. Uh, shoot that, shoot that. Okay, okay, okay. Shoot that, shoot that, shoot that. Keep shooting. Uh, use my antlers. There. Uh, drop the antlers. And then there. Uh, use my Jiren. Use my Jiren. Drop that. Uh, need to make sure that I hit the transport convoy. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, crap. Okay, re I need to re-do uh, this. Uh, did I almost- I almost had him there. Okay, I think the start with Mumu was a pretty good start. Like, that's something I should probably try to keep uh, doing here. And make sure that she doesn't try to dodge as much as possible. I, I will take a bit of damage here at the start. And that's something I don't exactly mind. Cause... There. Come on, shoot. Okay, is she down? She's not down, she's not down, I use my Jiren. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, let's try to hurry up, let's try to hurry up, let's try to hurry up, please. I hope he's not gonna be here again at the start. Okay, there he is. Okay, shoot that. Oh, that was a miss already. Okay, that's a hit, and that's also a hit. Okay, back off here a bit. Okay, there, uh, use my Jiren, use my Jiren, shoot him again. Uh, use my Jiren, uh, use my Jiren again. Come on, use my Jiren again, use my Jiren again. Okay, there, okay, good, 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 good. Uh, keep shooting him, keep shooting him, keep shooting him. Okay, uh, I don't have time to drop my uh, thingy magic, so. Okay, there you go. Okay, uh, quick, to the escorts. ASAP. Okay, uh, okay, there we go. I can just walk while I do this, right? Yes. Okay, I actually got it. I actually got it. 
Wow, that was borderline, like, I nearly didn't make it there. But hey, I still have my antlers here. Like, I didn't have, ch uh, like, time to drop it. So you know what? Uh, majestic antlers are still part of this AC because it's Xerneas. Can't drop the antlers. Rank A. I mean, it didn't go perfect to get a rank S, but I did beat this very damn fast. I mean, uh, I was able to nuke down Mumu easily. Uh, Cerberus Garm went down real easy. The, the big concern of mine was whether I would be on time for the transport, which I was. I was able to destroy both of them before the transport could even try to escape, so that's a good thing. Uh, it definitely has nuking power, but energy is a huge downfall of this, especially in a mission like this where you have to hurry and you need to use the Jiren ASAP all the time, so yeah. But I guess even with all of that out of the way, I do like how this looks very xerneas -y. Like, I don't want to, like, go and pat myself on the back there, but it, it, it's just very, very, very fitting. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.